community. I mean, everybody have to do it together, okay? okay? Let's say stand up, everybody have to stand up in the right time, not even one second later than the other, okay? Because they think that would be, uh, uh, anyway, that's a way you could, uh, uh, how to say, uh, maybe confirm, our way you can, in a way that's a good way to adjust your mind. Anyway, so now, uh, for those who started to have the, the notes, uh, uh, in this short time, I may be asking a lot, but you know, sometimes it might be good since you are only here the full day for two days, and then the tomorrow, uh, the day after tomorrow will be only half day, right? But try to learn as much as possible, not just the knowledge, but also certainly, uh, and not just the meditation, but also the knowledge, because it's very important to have a correct knowledge. So otherwise you always might be, it doesn't mean that you would practice wrongly, but at least if you have to, a kind of not right with understanding. So you take long time for you to reach what you want to reach, you know what I'm saying? The same thing if you want to come to the join your monastery, but if you do not have the right direction, so you might be just know around Kamiao, then you take long time for you to room in around, okay? walk in here and then at last, ah, now I found it, right? But if there's a somebody who gives you a right direction, yeah, you might not trust also because you've never been here. So you don't even know, you, you were not 100% sure, but at least follow the direction and see whether you reach the destination or not, okay? So in these two, three days, you have doubt during the Q&A question, get Q&A time, ask question. But I, I did right here, don't ask any other thing don't waste your time and don't waste other people's time, okay? Ask precisely about the technique now. You know, Buddhism is huge and big. So now you're learning this technique and just ask this technique, you know, get the use of it and make the whole uh, full of it, okay? Make the use of uh, the full of it. Um, <clears throat> in this, uh, the menu, okay, uh, partic particularly designed for, uh, as I say, designed for the mindfulness of breathing. It not necessarily apply to other technique or method or meditation, but especially is maybe, especially is very, very uh, useful for this technique, okay? I'm sure that there's some other thing I don't have to mention very much, like, you know, why we have to, uh, the aim of this meditation or this retreat is uh, to foster a beginning practitioner to meditate and so and so, you can read yourself, okay? But something I need to mention, uh, the number five, to establish samadhi. Uh, what does it mean, okay? So, and so, okay. Uh, later in the class. So, and you just leave it if you don't understand what they are. And also, uh, it's very important that if you're able, then try to reach jhana, or in Pali, or dhyana, in Sanskrit, or in Chinese mean chana, chan zi, yi chan, er chan, san chan, si chan. Oh, that means the first dhyana, the second dhyana, the third dhyana, and fourth dhyana. And also, of course, uh, uh, because I knew there were some students here, very few, but they learned the technique before also. So that's why I try to introduce some other interesting, or I would say very good way for you to check when you have the form in front of you, how you should do, how you can make the form be stabilized the form also, the sign I will translate. Just so it means, I like to use the word mean limita. Anyway, uh, you, when you have time, I know that some people might like to read when you're free, okay? I, I definitely strongly suggest you, not that I don't allow you to read, if you have time to read, read this paper, okay? You, if you waste your time, you only waste this two and a half day. Don't, so, don't be too stingy about your life. Don't, ah, oh, this two and a half day, I don't want to waste this, okay? But imagine your life. You definitely waste two and a half days is very normal in your, in, in your whole life, okay? If you think you might be wasting two and a half days just on reading this paper, you know, uh, how to say it, just be it, to eat it, you know. It, it mean be that way, you know. Just think, okay, fine, I'm here. So it's just like, almost like I, I've been sold, you know. I was sold to this place. <laughs> Uh, okay, but 
actually you're not working like a labor, but you know, you've been sold here to be live relaxingly. <laughs> Only thing you do is sitting, sleeping, eating, going to a restroom, taking a shower, you know, and if you want to read and read this paper. Okay? Try to understand it thoroughly. Okay? Uh, because this paper, uh, I, why I want to send it to you now, when you feel bored, when you feel you want to read something, as I said, you might be, have many books about mindfulness of breathing, okay? uh, about this technique, meditation of breath. You want to read that when you go home to read it. Okay? Now just read this paper again and again and again, try to understand, because whatever we try to write here, we hope you can apply in your practice. Okay? Uh, I'm going to explain this in, in the evening class. Now, because uh, this is a meditation time, uh, so we have to back to the instruction first. Okay? Okay. And uh, when you have time, as I say, when you can read this paper. Okay? Now, <clears throat> because I think we really need to do more practice. Uh, so whatever I'm saying, you can quote from here. Okay? Uh, that I would mostly quote from here. Okay. Uh, also, I, maybe one other thing. Do not think that this is something very simple. We take a long time to prepare this, you see. Okay, they might have some mistakes there or some mistakes. Either translation uh, or because, as I said, you have to translate from either Chinese, from Sanskrit or Pali and all these languages. So it really takes a long time <laughs> to do this also. <laughs> not because just only the idea, okay. Okay. Uh, now we back to the practice, okay? And uh, now, firstly, you must understand we have almost three hours sitting here. So when you feel that you don't want to sit, that like your leg is really aching too much, you have to stand up. As I just mentioned, the more you can aware, try to um, aware the more you can. And let's say you know you want to stand up, you stand up. You want to walk in this direction, you will have to have to aware that you want to walk the direction and walk and walk out there and do your walking meditation. Okay? Until you feel fine, I'm done, back. Other thing I would ask, like to ask you, just now I ask you to keep your breath. Keep checking on your breath. Did you do that? Okay. Now at least you know it is just when you practice this, uh, the meditation on the breath you still constantly have to keep on reminding yourself at this time, nothing is more important than your breath. Okay? Can you do that? Can you do that? That's what you have to do. If you do not have this kind of mind, you take, you take it lightly. So in Buddhism, we say that you are just slight on your, basically you slight on the object of meditation. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you, are, you despise you do not really highly regard the technique. Okay? You, have to, you have to really have the faith in the technique. Okay? So the way that to keep you have the faith to the technique is constantly okay, check on your breath, whatever you're doing. Okay? The same thing when you do walking meditation, because you are not practice. Uh, I know some of students here, they practice uh, Sorry, I forgot to do the record. Some of the students, uh, they practice this, uh, uh, like uh, the pure insight meditation before. That's a different technique. Even you do walking meditation, you have to try to observe in while you're walking. You have to observe in whether there's an wind element, earth element, and so on and so on. So, but since you practice a mindfulness of breathing, your most focus is on your wind element. Okay. Then the wind have two. One is internal. One is external. Okay. However, now you practice a mindfulness of breathing. The internal one will be the pri priority. So, so that means your 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 breath. Okay. Now, if you know what you have to do, it means when you feel like you don't want to sit, don't struggle too much. But if you want to persist, do persist, but do not feel agony. Okay. You know what I'm saying. If that is really too much for you, stand up and walk. And when you walk, when you feel fine, I'm done, come back and sit. Okay? Don't fight that and get angry. When you get angry to yourself, you start to get angry with me. Okay? And then you will start to get angry with everything. Okay? 
In meditation, never, 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 never get angry. Okay? You can try to be insist on sitting, seeing the pain there without getting angry. How? Because you understand it's a natural thing. Okay? And some other way is also when your leg is aching, not only just understand it's a natural thing, you have to think positively. And it's true, even though you need to check to yourself, I mean, you, 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 you can only prove that later. However, it's true that the, when your, your feet feel aching, you should be very happy because you're still alive, okay? Right? If you can have this kind of mind to accept that, you will be fine, okay? Oh, the pain comes, so good. I'm still alive, that's one thing, okay? The other thing is the more pain comes to you, the more healthy you are, okay? You know that just like when people do an exercise, when you come to a little more exerting uh, over your limit, you feel a little aching on your muscle, right? That's one thing. The same also same thing when you do your massage, people trying to press the acupuncture point when you're doing the massage, you feel aching and pain as well, right? But if that's too much, you should happily accept, okay, leave it there, move my body. And if you find that is really too much for you, your whole body was feeling uncomfortable, and then stand up and walk. Don't blame anything, don't feel agony, okay? Just accept it. Actually, you know, it's almost like I always suggest and encourage you understand it as a free, wonderful, free massagers massage your internal body, okay? You should be very happy about that, about that, okay? Okay, and then settle down that point about physical one, now we're back to the technique. Now, the technique, later on, the same thing, when you close your eyes, relax first, okay? Learn to relax, but the more that you practice, the more you can relax quicker. Relax first, and then after relaxation, after your relaxation, start to feel the moving of the body. So if you feel there's in-breath and out-breath moving this way, let's say this way, and then you must know this is the thing. And then if that breath coming this way, fine, you can all aware at this point. But do not try to think in and out, in and out. Just know it's down and up, down and up, okay. Now, I will suggest you, but I will remind you later, remind you later, but I'm giving you a, a short instruction first. For a beginner, and especially when you sit a little while, but I will suggest you actually everybody try to do that also. It's very helpful. When you know that you are breathing like this, and then you start to count, okay? First, how to count? Count the in-breath one, out-breath two, three, four, five, six, seven. If the breath goes fast, eight, nine, ten, fine, okay? Do not control it. When you can ten, make the note. This is one, what we call the one, I, I usually as, count it as one set, okay? Just one set. And count it again, one, two, three, your breath, let's say like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sometimes your breath goes this way. Okay? Four set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four set. Now, when you count until ten set, remember this. Count until ten set, and you know you have ten set already. Almost like you might have a little distraction, but almost no distraction. And then you start to count in breath and out breath as one count, okay? That means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, your breath go differently, okay? Fine, and then you do that, and then also the same thing, in the same manner, count at 10 set. So that means one breath, one count for 10 set, Two breath, one count for one for ten set. Understand? Now, when you have done that, now what you have to do is that 
Now you do diminishing way. That means two breath, one count. But this time you don't count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hello, somebody going to sleep? Okay, look at me if you fall asleep. You know, I'm sure that uh, that will help you. Now when you one, two, three, what you two breath, one count, right? This time you don't count one to ten. You count. 10 to 1, okay? 10, use your own language. If English is your easier, for me, actually, I speak Cantonese. So Chinese even is very difficult for me, Mandarin. Count. I have to say, sub, gao, ba, cha. If, if Chinese, I have to think sometimes. You know, is it 9 or is it 8? Or if it's Chinese, I have to say, ma, I ba. So use your own language, okay? So, if you have a count, you use your own language, it's easier. So remember, so let's say you have to diminish your counting, mean two breaths and then you diminish counting, okay? In the reverse order, okay? In a way, 10, 9, 8, 7, okay? When you have 10 sets and then back to one breath, one count, okay? You know what I mean? And then 10, 9, <laughs> 8, okay? And then back to only one. And what you have to do, leave away the counting. Just at that time, it is very, very, very easy for you to observe the breath. Okay. Now, also remember this. When you come to that point, when you can easily absorb, observe the breath, breath, now this time, you can clearly, if you can do that, definitely, I am assure you, I can assure you, very clearly you know your breath is in and out, okay? Now, if you look at the notes, okay, you can come to the notes now. Number five, okay, page five. Page five. So, and then, uh, and then from page five, you can see you, there's a word, mindful, who breathe in, mindful, who breathe out. Can you see that section phases of mindfulness of breathing? Okay. In Chinese, Chu Lu Xi Guan Si Liu Xin. And then you, you look at, there's a perut here, right? Mindful, who breathe in, mindful. That's actually you establish the mindful, who breathe in, mindful, who breathe out. Okay. Then you know your breath very well in, out. But you don't have to use a language, as I say. You exactly know what it is going on. Okay. Now, and then uh, you will start to notice aware also the first step that means breathing in long, he comprehends I am breathing in long. Or breathing out long, he comprehends I am breathing out long. Okay? The same thing, breathing in short, he comprehends I am breathing in short. Or breathing out short, he comprehends I am breathing out short. So you will easily know your breath is now. First, must know the breath. After counting, the way I say, okay? And then you will easily know your breath long first, okay? And then short, okay? And then long. Now, this is one way of practice. Uh, listen carefully. Another way, which I find is very useful, okay? Listen carefully again, okay? What does it long breath mean and short breath mean in different tradition have different way of practice? In Pali, as far as I learn, the breath is long mean the breath is long. <laughs> the breath is short mean relatively because the breath is shorter than the long one. Okay? But of course in Pali you even have different definition. I, I'm not here to uh, to, to talk too much that confuse you now. But that's what you learn first, okay? However, I also find another tradition, I mean, when I say tradition, I mean another treatise very useful. That is like Yoga Chara Pumi, Yi Chie Si Di Lun, okay? Suggested that, what does a long breath mean? The breath is long, okay? The breath. The long breath means the breath. What does a short breath mean? When the breath come down, you know when, everyone, you, when every time you breathe in 
and then you will stop a little while, very short, and you turn up again, right? Especially the more you do meditation, the more you will notice. What does a short breath mean? The short breath means when you're in breath, there's a little pose, turning that short breath, up again, okay? And then a little pose, turning that short breath. In others word mean, after when you finish your counting, knowing your breath, in breath and out breath, in breath and out breath, after when you're aware that, you start to aware only the breath, okay? And then after some time, trying to aware only short, 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 short. You don't have to use the language. This, 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 this. Okay? So only when you can aware this, and this, 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 then you start to aware, you easily you can go to the step. I mean, you aware the breath in the whole body. Now, because you are not doing this research, actually, even the, what does it mean by the in-breath in the whole body, Pali tradition and other tradition, sometimes different also. Okay? It's no matter. You may be asking which one I have to use, because all will help you the same thing. When you come to the four, but one way is easier than the other. That's all. Okay? What is the same thing? If you meditate, if you see, start to feel that bright, 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 don't look at it, okay? Just know it, fine, okay? Don't try to see where is it bright, how does it come, okay? Don't distract, just aware the breath. Remember now, repeat it again. Cow, one breath, one cow, okay? For 10 sets, and cow until 10. In case, ah, damn it, I forget it first. And then, count two breath as one count, okay? Remember now? And then, until 10 sets. Now, and then, diminish your counting from 10, 9, 8, 7, uh, <laughs> 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, right? And uh, also, but if from two count, okay? One breath, one, uh, then, two, two breath, one count, okay? And then two, the same, diminish your counting to one breath, one count, okay? Until you're back to a zero, actually one, okay? And then you leave along the counting completely, just away your breath, okay? Until when you feel very comfortable with the breath, that time you definitely will be, feel very clear about your breath. And started to aware the breath, how long it goes, okay? And after some time, try to aware when the breath go down, turning, up, turning, and then pay more attention on the turning, okay? That's one way. But if you find this is difficult for you, don't force, and just do long breath, and then anything shorter than a long breath, you have a setting of mind already, then you know it's short breath, okay? But I would suggest you, I find that it's very easier actually, is when you do the long breath, there's a turning, do the turning, knowing the turning, stopping, just a little short time turning, short time turning, short time turning, short time turning, okay? And aware that, aware that sometimes you definitely will know the whole breath. That means the breath, turning, up breath, turning, that means you know the long breath and short breath, okay? In other words, mean you started to know after some time the whole breath, okay? Uh, clear now? Okay, shall we do? Now, few things I need to remind 
you can just close your eyes and listen to me. At the same time, you can adjust your posture and then start to relax yourself. Okay. One thing is that try to, if you feel drowsy and sleepy, try to lean back, lean more backward than forward. Okay. If you really fall down, the person who sit behind you will help you. Okay. If nobody, you and you are better. They will lock you out to be awakened. Okay. And if you really feel really really drowsy, and do open your eyes a little bit, and try to catch the light, and try to feel the light into your eyes. Okay. Okay. That's also important. Don't be ashamed or don't be feel, uh, you know, embarrassed about your drowsiness. It's very common, you know, drowsiness. It is only the Buddha and Arahant do not have drowsiness. Even a saint who have become the first saint, first level sainthood, second level sainthood, third level sainthood, they still have drowsiness as well. Okay. So, uh, so do not be ashamed of that. So important. If uh, if the better way, if you feel drowsiness, especially in morning, especially people who is not a morning person, what you have to do is that another way to do that, try to imagine the light. How to imagine the light first? Unless you're a really good meditator, you have to know how to do that. You can appear, let the light appear in front of you. If you don't have that capability, you just try to imagine you are sitting or you are outside in the outdoor looking at the sun, very bright. Okay, that's what helps you. Okay, it really doesn't work. Try to pull your air, and then. Try to do all the way. Don't let you wake up. If you cannot do that, go to the restroom and wash your face. Okay. Okay. But of course, uh, you can sit and sleep. But do not let me know. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Right. Remind you again. Don't have any expectations. All the expectations are a distraction to you. The only thing is, what is not distraction to you is the instruction you have learned. Okay, count now. One breath, one count. Two breath, one count. Diminish the counting by two breath, one count for ten sets, and diminish the counting by one breath, one count for ten sets. And then you should be fine with you. You can be make a good friend with your breath. After that, okay. Good luck. As I say, if you have any desire, you want to be this and that, put that aside. It is not your practice. Okay. You've been so here just to do that. <laughs>